DaVinci Resolve's 18.5 update as a feature that is gonna save you hours on end. I been wanting this feature in DaVinci for such a long time. And the fact that it's finally here, I couldn't be more excited to share it with you guys. Have you ever spent so much time trying to get two clips from an A camera and a B camera and trying to sync up the audio in an interview or a talking head? And it can be frustrating because you're scrubbing through footage, trying to find keywords and it just becomes a hassle. Well, the DaVinci 18.5 update just made it so much easier where you can just put the clips together. It'll auto align based off of the time code or the waveform. And it just basically does it for you. It's so convenient, so easy and saves me so much time. And that to me is important is when you can save time, be more efficient in your workflow. What's up guys, my name is John. I am a full-time filmmaker. I do music videos, commercials, weddings and i like to make youtube videos it's really fun i enjoy it and videos like this if you hit the subscribe and hit the like button it means so much to me because that just means i can make more videos just like this let's get right into it so what we're going to do here is we have two clips we have a b cam and we have the a cam it's a good friend of mine dylan we were interviewing him and here on the a cam is he has a microphone and that's the audio we do want to use so i have the b cam here on the timeline. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the audio that we wanna use, which is this one right here, the audio we wanna use. We're gonna right click it and we're gonna go ahead and click on transcribe audio. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna basically create like subtitles, all the words that he said in the video into here. Now, I wanna take this part right here, which is my name is Dylan Marr and I am the CEO and executive producer of Cinematic. So we just wanna take we wanna just go ahead and highlight all of this. We can go ahead and drag this. Okay, it's gonna basically drag everything I highlighted, the video and the audio into here. Okay, perfect. And next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and normalize the audio levels just to bring it up. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight all four of them and we're gonna right click it and click auto align clips based on waveform. And what that's gonna do is it just synced it up in perfect place. So I'm gonna go about halfway. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go halfway, cut it, mute the audio track right here on this one. And we're gonna use this audio here. And if we play back, it should be in sync. My name is Dylan Marr and I'm the CEO and executive producer of Cinematic. And we are at CES in VinFast Immersive Theater. Perfect. Just like that, you have everything aligned perfectly. Huge game changer. To me, this is such a game changer because now if you are working with two clips in an interview, you have the ability to go ahead and sync audio without having to go in and find keywords and scrub through footage and all of that stuff. And to me, that is huge. Another feature that DaVinci added in the 18.5 is what's called auto-generated subtitles. And that to me was something that I was looking for, especially in Adobe, you have the feature where you can create subtitles for your YouTube videos and all of that. And let's say I wanna go ahead and create some subtitles for this. So I'm gonna go up here to timeline. I'm gonna go to create subtitles from audio. When I click on that, I can click create. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna go ahead and generate subtitles. It may take a few minutes. And just like that, we My have subtitles. My name is Dylan Marr, subtitles. and I'm the CEO and executive producer Perfect. of Cinematic. Looks and we amazing. are at CES. Now, what's cool about this is when you click on a subtitle and you go to the right-hand side, you can go ahead and make any changes you want, or you can even go to track and change the font, the font color, the size, all of that stuff. DaVinci still hasn't implemented any crazy animations when it comes to subtitles until it is out of public beta. You know, hopefully we can find some animations with subtitles. But once you have that, it is very important that when you go to the export page, you go down to subtitle settings, you click export, you have to check the box because if not, the subtitles will not be there. And then the format, you can change it to where you want it as a separate file, burned into the video or as embedded captions. So you can go ahead and you have options there. Go ahead and render that out and you are good to go. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I enjoyed sharing this information with you guys. I have a lot more tips and tricks with the new 18.5 DaVinci update that I am excited to share with you guys. And if you guys did enjoy the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and share it with a friend. And comment down below if you learned something or if you already knew it. I'm curious to know. If you want more tips from the 18.5 DaVinci update, then please let me know in the comments and I will be for sure making more videos just like this. And if you have time, go ahead and check out my previous videos I've done, or you can just go into DaVinci and try out the tip I just shared. That works too. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.